Greetings of peace from Madrid, Spain. And I would like to share with all of you my experiences with a very special soul, which is Daddy Gulzar. I had the fortune to meet her personally several times in her visit to Spain, but also in India and also in, in different places, in Italy, in Oxford. And I would say the first thing that she was really, I've never seen a soul like this, so detached, but at the same time, so loving. So you could, you could feel that she was beyond this world. She was in another place, but at the same time, she was so close to you, giving you the, the feeling of closeness through her eyes. So her eyes had such an attraction, spiritual attraction, that you could feel God's energy through her eyes. And I remember to look at her eyes like, like magnets. They were attracting me and you didn't want to bring your, your eyes out from her gaze. Such a beautiful gaze that she was giving at any moment. And I'm sure that she was very aware of that because she was speaking very little, but she was in a very royal posture, usually very straight and, and royal. And her eyes was always available to meet your eyes. And when you meet her eyes, something special was happening. Some energy you were receiving. So she was an instrument of silence and vibrations. And I remember when she came to Barcelona was the inauguration of the main center there, a big center. Uh, it was a big change from a small center to a very big and royal center in, in the middle of Barcelona. And she came for the inauguration. So we were very young. We were, the family was very young, not so much experience in big programs. And when daddy came, you can imagine the inauguration, a big lecture, so many people coming, uh, so many things to do. So it happens that in the kitchen, some food was spoiled because it was so hot. It was also in, in summertime. So next time daddy uh, came to know what happened and she asked us, the team of the kitchen. At that, while, at that time, I was responsible for the kitchen and she met all of us. We were a small team, especially sisters and very young sisters. Myself was the older one. I was um, nearly 30, but uh, not more, more than that. And, um, and she was so nice. She was, in a, in a sense, correcting us, saying that you have, we have to put attention to food and, and to, have more, to be more accurate, I would say. But at the same time, she was saying in such a beautiful, sweet, loving manner that even though I was being corrected and, and the sisters, we as a team, but at the same time, I was feeling so much happiness that being so close to her, even because the reason of a correction and I took the responsibility. They say, Daddy, I, it's my responsibility. I was the responsible one. I will put attention and that's finished then. But my feeling was what a, what a good opportunity because a mistake to be so close to Daddy and have a special meeting with her and receiving this, in fact, were more than correction, were like blessings from her and the attention for us to learn something and be more mature and more expert. And then at the end of the program, I remember she was giving these sweet and blessings and I remained till the end and I was the last one and received this. And when I arrived there, she said to me very, very sweetly, you are an accurate karma yogi. Karma yogi means to be in connection with God in action. But she said to me in such a way that I felt that she was not saying to me this. It was like a divine energy was expressing to me this blessing and was for one side a few days before a correction and then at the end of the program a beautiful blessing saying that I was really an accurate server. No? So I still remember this voice, these words, especially the impact that I received from 
this expression from her. So I remember that so many people were impressed positively, spiritually, transformed their, their lives, in fact, only through this beautiful gaze, beautiful vision, beautiful eyes, and her silent presence. And another incident was so interesting, seeing her way of living the moment, the present. I felt that she was really carefree, no worries at all. And it happens once that we went one day after one big program, she wanted to see a little bit the city and walk a little bit. So we took her to the harbor because Barcelona has a beautiful place there, the harbor, and has a long avenue along the, the beach, the side, the, the sea, more than the beach, the sea. And there is a long highway till the end, which is at the end is the, 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 the lighthouse no, there. So we were talking with the other sisters and with the persons who were there. I was driving the car and took all of them to this place. And suddenly we said, where is Dali? Where is Dali? She was not there. <laughs> and I look there and at the, uh, very far from uh, in, in this uh, avenue, she was walking by herself, very calm, very concentrated. So I was running after her and I said to her, Daddy, uh, we have to go. You have to come back. This is very, very far. You are going very far and very obediently, very silently with a smile. She changed the direction and came back. So I realized that she was completely carefree. She was walking. She was enjoying. She was just being there in the moment, in the present and absolute trust and confidence in life, in herself and all of us and the moment. And then when we came back, there was a couple of Hindi people there, just sitting there around. And when she was coming back walking, they felt such an attraction that they asked her who she was. And then they start to talk and she gave them a leaflet from the center in Barcelona. And she gave him some, she gave them some um, ideas, spiritual knowledge. So, and they were so happy, just like that. So I realized also that this attitude of being carefree, free from worries, just being the present moment, just accepting whatever is happening and flowing, this made her to serve at every step. So it was like service was coming to her. She was not doing anything, just being there, being available, being open. And this creates such a beautiful attraction in other people. So I've learned from her this attitude of being detached, of being carefree, of being available, of serving at every moment, and also being such a good instrument of um, sharing this divine energy at any moment through her eyes. And at the same time, it was so interesting because at the same time that she was so loving, sweet, detached, sometimes she was also challenging you. And I would, wouldn't say serious, but um, provoking in you some changes or some attention, special attention. And I remember another time, this was in India, in the headquarters with my brother, we both went to see her just to say hello. So she very nicely, she asked us for the country, Spain. She remembered the visit in Spain. So she was very nice conversation. What we are doing in Spain? We are doing this. We are very busy with that. We are doing this service. Family is okay. In general, everything is fine. So we gave such a beautiful and positive uh, news. And she was listening very carefully, very nicely. But suddenly at the end, she said, are you doing service? serving the professional field and it was the only thing that we were not doing <laughs> so we were surprised so she was not so detached she was very attentive and very intuitive so she said something that we were not doing for a long period of time and then we said we were a little bit 
um, 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 uh, uh, embrace, no? Um, feeling not so uh, comfortable <laughs> with that question. Say, oh, daddy, um, no, we are not doing this service for the moment. Well, we, have, we are busy in other things. So she was not serious, but firm and say, you have to do this service. You have to organize a good program for professionals. It's important also that. And then we went. So we realized that she was such a good instrument in perceiving and knowing what is really needed at that time. And we were so happy explaining so many things, but at the same time, she was pointing out what is the important thing to do at that moment. And after this meeting, we went to Spain and then we organized a, a very good program for professionals. Um, the call of the time that we, we haven't been able to be, do it before. So I've learned also this capacity of being detached and loving, but at the same time being firm and challenging you so that you can move forward and go to the next step. And also the energy of, is not a correction, but it was such an energy that they gave you, gave us the energy to really go back and inspire the rest of the team and really do something. So I'm, I was always surprised how these special souls, the daddies, not only Daddy Ulster, but also all the daddies, no? They have this capacity of saying few words, especially Daddy, Daddy Ulster, she was speaking very few words, but the precise words, accurate words, that touches your heart and your mind and gave you such an energy of doing what she was saying without the need to say it twice or third time. And then she was detached. And then she gave us the tolly, the sweet, and the dristy, the, 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 the vision, the gaze. And with that sweet, powerful, beautiful energy, we went inspired by her presence and her words. So I would say that from Daddy Gulsar, I've learned this capacity of being a, a real instrument, flowing in life, being carefree, serving at every moment, being available, this was also her quality, all the time being available for what, whatever is needed, but at the same time detached and being such a sweet and loving uh, person, uh, sharing this love from God through her, these vibrations from God through her, that was inspiring us to move forward in this spiritual life. So now that I'm talking about her, I'm feeling and seeing her presence in these different situations. And I feel really uh, fortunate to have been able to be so close few times, not many, but these times, these few times, they have left a beautiful, powerful and great memory in my heart. So thanks for listening, for your attention and Om Shanti.